Hey guys, and welcome to our first board meeting. Uh, since this is our first uh, time seeing each other face to face, uh, I, I think it's fair to you know give a little quick introduction of uh, who we are and uh, one thing that we like to do. So I like. I think it's fair to do that. Uh, I'll I'll start off. Um, my name is Shaki, and uh, I like swimming. Wait, like that's it? Um, yeah, why? Cuz, like, that was, like, so boring. Like, everyone likes swimming. Like, you gotta be more personal. Um, I like swimming at the beach. God, you are so hopeless. Ugh, good thing you have a girly personality. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Okay, look. My name is Amanda, and I like rainbows and uh, cute puppies. That was pretty much the same thing as I said. No, it wasn't. How? It's called being descriptive, y'all. No, it's not. That's not called being descriptive. Yo, what are you talking about? Yeah, it was. Like, my name's Balvinder Singh. And I like to correct people. Ooh, he got you there. What? No, he didn't get me anywhere. What? Yo, like, man, what you don't make me talk. About? What are you hey, talking hey, about? No, you want to yeah, fight? Yeah, like, so I don't talk about it. What? Oh, you're wrong. What? You're wrong. She's right. You know what? She's, right. you know what? She's telling me the right thing right now. I don't understand. You are not being comfortable. You are not being comfortable. No, look, right? This ain't cool, man. This ain't cool, man. This hurts. The feels hurt. Oh my you're like breaking girl. my heart. Is, I don't know what it is. Wherever it is, it's hurt. And you're breaking it's my heart, girl. Boy, you're breaking my heart. It ain't cool. What's going you know, on? Why are you arguing with me? God, why like, are honestly, you talking about God? This is right here. You want me to shoot? Stop. I'll shoot you right now. You have a gun. I'm not joking, bro. I have a gun. I'll shoot you down. Okay, stop. Look, we're making this video to raise awareness on volleyball. That's why you guys, including myself, are making a PSA to talk about what they believe is important in volleyball. Uh, I have a question. Yes, Amanda. Um, what's PSA? Nah, yo, it's PSA, which stands for Public Service Announcement. Thank you, Ballvinder. You know what? Let's begin with your video. So the other day my company asked me a question on this uh, PSA and uh, it's what do you think is most important in volleyball and like honestly I find that the volleyball skills are important all of them are important yo like honestly without any if, with even one skill missing like it's gonna be crazy like it's so different it'll be different if you remove service from the game well it's messed up. If you remove blocking from the game, it's weird. If you remove hitting from the game, it's weird. Like, it's so weird to play a game without any of those skills involved in volleyball. But, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the most important three skills in volleyball. And these skills are necessary to play volleyball, or else volleyball cannot function, yo. Now, I don't care if uh, you disagree with this, because I'm right and you're wrong. So coming to number three, yo, is uh, the forearm pass. The forearm pass is one of the most important skills in volleyball. Without the forearm pass, I'm telling you, this game is gonna be crazy. Like, honestly, service goes, and um, it's the service goes in the low trajectory. So you run for the ball, and what can you do? You can only, what, volley the ball? No, you can't. You need to have a forearm pass. Without a forearm pass, it's messed up. Honestly, if you think about it, without that forearm pass, the game is so messed up. You can't make any low passes. Because to volley a ball, it's the ones that come up high. So how are you going to make those low passes without having those arms for your forearm pass? Like, this skill is so necessary in the game. So think about this. If forearm pass did not exist in the game of volleyball, how would it be? If you don't understand, then... Here, let me, let me show you a little hand demonstration then. So, here's one person ready to serve the ball, and here's another person who's going to receive the ball. 
All right, so this guy serves the ball. Boop, ball's coming over. And it's coming down here. So, this guy's got to run. And you know what? He doesn't have time to actually go under and volley the ball up. He only has time to actually go down. Because the ball's already down near his feet. So all he can do is go down and bump the ball. So, he can't get the ball technically. So what, there's no point in actually running for that ball. Because you're screwed. If you're not in that spot, then you're screwed. That's pretty much it. You have to be at that spot to actually get the ball. And that's the only volley, right? So if it's a low serve, then it's even more harder. So this game of volleyball is screwed. Alright, yo, so coming in number two is the volleying. The volleying is such a skill. Alright, yo, coming in number two is volleying. Without volleying, you ain't gonna get anywhere. Volleying is as important as forearm pass. You know what? I'll tell you one thing. It's more important than the forearm pass. Sure, you can play a game without volleying. You can just bump the ball and put it over. But, there's one thing that forearm pass does not have that volleying has. When it comes to forearm pass, you can't really set the ball to a setter. It, it's that simple. Volleying the ball gives you more control, um, and with this control, you can set the ball to the setter who can hit the ball down. Now, if you were to bump the ball, you don't really know where the ball is going to go exactly compared to volleying. You know in which direction it will go, and sometimes you don't even know which direction it's going to go. But the, only, the most you'll know is which direction. But with volleying, you'll know exactly where the ball is going. And that's why people volley the ball to set it to the hitter instead of forearm passing it for the setter. So when it comes to volleying, without it, there wouldn't be any hitting. So all you're going to see is forearm pass back to back. It's just forearm passes. And that, that's not a fun game of volleyball at all. And it's pretty boring if you think about it. Alright, yo, and coming at number one is the jump float serve. And let me tell you, this jump float serve is really, really important because without it, it eh, the game just gets boring at the start. Now, I'm using jump float serve out of all the other serves because I find that the jump float serve uh, is the most basic yet advanced serve. Now, when I say this, it's basically a serve that's in the middle. So, you have the underhand serve that's at the lowest and you have the spin serve, which is at the top. Now, the underhand serve, of course, a lot of people can do it, and the problem with this underhand serve is that the ball goes up really high, giving a free pass, uh, a free ball, sorry, to the other team. Um, that's, not a re <laughs> that's not really a good thing. You don't want to do that. So, you know what, we want to serve it at a straight trajectory, um, a straight uh, low trajectory. Um, we don't want to go... Uh, the McDonald's arch, we don't want that, no, we want to go straight low, okay, because with that, the other team's going to have a hard time getting the ball. Now, spin serve, spin serve is the same thing, right? Actually, getting a spin serve is even harder, but the problem is, doing a spin serve is also hard. Jump fold serve is actually fairly easy to do, and it's actually hard for the other team to get, while um, underhand serve is easy to do, but it's easy to get, spin serve is hard to do, but hard to get. So, this is why jump float serve falls as the most important serve in the game of volleyball, and that's why it's at number one. Because without a jump, without service, you have no game. Think about it. You can't play volleyball without serving the ball. Your mind was just blown. So guys, as you can see, these skills are essential in volleyball. Without these skills, volleyball cannot be played to your full potential, and it would look pretty bad. Wow, that was actually really good. Thanks, y'all. I try my best to make those PSAs. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's see it. <coughs> me, 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 me. <coughs> I know you love me. PSA! O-M-G! Uh, roll the clip! Every year, there are like thousands of people who are volleyball players who are terrible at it. They are complete losers and they don't know what they are doing wrong. These clueless kids need our help. With your
your time and donation, you can help a player in need of strategies. These failures in life need strategies, and I will show you the top three important strategies for clueless people who know nothing about volleyball. Alright, so coming in number three is service. These clueless kids just serve the ball over the net and they give it to like the people at the back. Like it's not even good. Why? Because when they serve the ball, they're just giving it to the person so they can just pass the ball and the other team will just set the ball up and they will hit the ball down and uh, the other team will get the point. Like, this is not good. When we're playing volleyball, we want to start off good. And what better way to start with a good service? Try to put the ball where the people are not at. Mainly, the back people, who are the passers. I suggest you to put the ball at the setter. If you can serve there, then it completely screws up their plan because they want to pass the ball to the setter and the setter will set the ball and then the hitter, who's in the left side or in the middle, will hit the ball down. Now this will be completely screwed up because once the setter gets the ball, they will know what to do and they have to figure it out on the spot. And like, if you put a ball where they're not at, then they have to run to the ball and chances are they will miss it and this gives you a complete ace. Like honestly, why do these kids just put the ball where people are at? Like if you give it to the passer, you're just giving them an easy ball. Like that's not good at all. The next one is to set up for a hit. Like people don't know how to actually hit a volleyball properly. If you don't set up for the hit, your hit is going to be really bad. Like, if you're right up at the net and the passer gives you the ball, you're not going to get a good hit. This is pretty much simple if you think about it, because all you can do is jump and then swing your arms. Your arms aren't even ready to hit the ball over the net. So if you're just at the net and you jump and hit the ball, there are two things that can happen. One, the ball can just simply go out of the court because you have no aim. Or two, what can happen is that you just tip the ball over the net, which is really easy to get for the other side because it's so slow. Because a hit is a ball that goes straight down at a really fast speed. Coming at number one is blocking. Kids these days don't even know how to block properly. Like honestly, when you are blocking, you want to make sure that you actually go down and get ready for the block. You need to be loaded. You need to crouch down, get those arms up already, and when they're about to hit the ball, then you jump and you block. If you just stand at the net and, and your hands are down, well this is going to be really bad because by the time they're about to hit it and you jump, your arms will not be up and the ball will already be over the net by the time your arms come up. Thus, meaning that this is not a good block. Let's review, shall we? So, the three most important strategies are when you're serving, put the ball where the, where the other team is not at, or put the ball at the setter. This will completely screw them up. Make sure you set up for your hit properly. Like, you need to back away from the net and get into your Superman position, Robin Hood, and then Ninja Turtle. Make sure you're loaded when you're blocking and make sure you keep your arms up. Otherwise, you're not going to do a block. With your help, these terrible players can become at least a little better. Call this number and make your donation to Amanda Wants to Buy a New Car Association. Call now. I know, right? It was like so bad. Did you realize what was wrong? Um, yeah. My nails were like the wrong color. J just leave it. Alright guys, here's my video. Roll the clip. Every time I play volleyball, there's one thing that I don't like. Serving the ball out. You're giving free points to the other team. The pressure gets you, man. And do you know what I think? It's time to put a stop to this. That's why I'm here today to gain your support to change a rule in volleyball. Serving the ball out does not count as a point to the other. Now, is this rule realistic? Of course it's realistic. Think about it. 
You're playing volleyball and you're serving the ball out. The other team gets free points off this. Well, if you think about it, the other team really did not win because of their skills. They won because our skills were bad at serving. So if you serve, and you can basically finish a game by serving a ball out. It's that simple. And if you think about it, it's not really fair. And it's not really a fun game because you don't really do anything but serve the ball. So therefore, this makes the game of volleyball actually more realistic itself if serving the ball out does not count as a point. With this rule, it shows that um, both teams in, in the game of volleyball can show off their skills. Just because a team served the ball out, it doesn't get the crowd riled up or any way. If the game is won because the ball was served out, it's like such a cheap way to win because you didn't put your skill to the test. I'd rather see the other team beat me if they spike the ball down and win the game other than me serving the ball out of the court. Now this rule has total logic to it. Basically, all, you, all that happens is that the player serves the ball. Let's say it was me who serves the ball, I'll serve the ball over. Now if the ball goes out, there's no points distributed, but the other team will get the ball to serve. It'll be their serve to serve the ball. The only change to the game of volleyball is that um, the point system will not be touched if the ball goes out of the court, but all the other rules will apply. So if the ball goes out, then the other team gets the possession of the ball. It's just that they don't get it a point with the ball. And as you can see, this rule is very simple, but very inventive at the same time. Now, it's not as crazy as, uh, let's say, using a tennis racket to hit the ball. Obviously, this has no complete sense to it. But you know, this rule is really important to the game of volleyball, and it would make so much sense if that serving a ball out does not count as a point. So therefore, it's actually innovative. Um, but in a simple way. In service, it does not matter. They can serve any way they want. Uh, that's not changed with this rule. Now, this changes the game's aspect of uh, me not liking uh, the service to actually liking service. I would not have as much stress if I know that if I serve the ball out, uh, there won't be a point to the other team. With that stress, you would choke up and um, basically you would serve out. But without that stress, I think uh, I'd be able to actually serve the ball over with more confidence. So please, help me out to make this rule valid in volleyball canon. And together, we can make this game a lot better. Now that's how a PSA should be. What was that all about? That was my PSA. Like, you just can't go and change the rules in an official sport, duh. You're so stupid. Look who's talking. Your your video made sense, yo. Thank you, Balvinder. But yo, it had nothing to do with our assignment. What? No, it did. I've been trying to tell him. What? Amanda, your video made no sense. That's true. Hey, look, Indian boy thinks he's so smart. You trying to be racist or something right now? Like, no, you are being racist. No, that's what you're talking about. No, you're being racist. 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 Like, oh what? my god, what? you are here what? so what? bad, yes, Nate. And like, what? you're giving you me this attitude. Uh, uh, no, 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 having no, so, so no, much no, no, and no, no, you're no, arguing no, with no, me, you, and like, god. police! No, I don't know what What up guys, it's your boy Shaki S-U-S here, and uh, I hope you liked that video. Uh, yes, it was copied. Um, the idea I got was from Nigahiga, of course. Um, and him and his uh, schedule videos and uh, if you haven't watched any of those videos I suggest you to watch it link down below um, His are so much better so much more hilarious But uh, you know what I wanted to talk about volleyball, so I made a video just for volleyball um, But you know what if you do like videos like this and you find it um, hilarious me ranting uh, to myself that uh, you know what I've messed up uh, 
me, my random personality, characters, uh, you know what? I hope you guys do comment saying I want more. Hope you subscribe. Uh, stay tuned. I will make more videos. Um, not sure when, not sure what video, but soon. And uh, hopefully I can get some cover songs uh, for you guys very soon. Uh, I'm getting that organized, so uh, stay tuned. Um, and uh, I hope you guys have a good day. So uh, this is Jackie Sue signing out. So later. Yeah.